Hello and welcome to uh, Cooler Than Jets. Uh, today I want to talk about Djokovic and uh, the Australian immigration. Um, so here's what happened. The guy was allowed in the country, got a visa, he filled out some forms, he got a visa on the basis of the, those forms. Um, then the country decided to cancel his visa. He went in front of a judge. The judge reinstated his visa on technical grounds. I mean, they, the government probably didn't go to the right procedure to cancel the visa. And in the meantime, it came out that the guy lied on on immigration forms about um, you know uh, trips he may have taken and where he was and when he knew about uh, his infection. And now the Australian government has uh, recancelled. Uh, his visa and he's going to go in front of a judge but I predict that he's going to be kicked out of the country and, and I'm going to tell you why I think that um, you should know uh, first of all I'm not a lawyer uh, and I'm by no means an immigration lawyer either in the US or in Australia so I'm not familiar with all the intri intricacies of the law but I am uh, an immigrant to the United States I came from Canada and I got a green card and I got eventually naturalization so now I'm a US citizen besides being a Canadian citizen and I think I've read about uh, Australian immigration and I think it's very much like the US in terms of when when you fill the form there are notifications at the bottom or at the top or somewhere on the form that you know this is serious and you should not lie and it's a uh, it's not an excuse to say well a an assistant filled it for me and there were missing things you're responsible for your own forms and filling them and filling them properly and especially immigration form i mean i know i understand if somebody wants to talk about taxes that taxes can be complicated and it's oh my god how do i multiply this with that and th taxes are a different thing immigration forms they ask you about your life history if you don't know your own life history, there's not much that people can do for you in life to help you. Um, I guess you need to be in a, in a hospital with care 24 hours a day if you don't know your own life history. If you don't know what trips you've taken. And saying, I, you know, I gave the test to my assistant to fill the form and then I just signed it, that's not good enough. And I, I tell you, if this were happening to anyone who were not famous um, you would not hear about it and I'm sure the Australian government does that on a regular basis that when they have somebody come in front of them and for a visa or for immigration and they fill out the forms and they, if the government discovers that the form is false that there's this false information not a matter of opinion you know whether you took a trip or whether you were infected it's not a matter of opinion it's either you were or you were not so, if they find lies on the form, I'm, I'm sure it happens on a daily basis that there are people who are kicked out of Australia just because of that. And it happens in the U.S. If you lie on your, on your immigration forms, they're going to kick you out of the country. Well, not just the immigration forms, but the visa forms, any form that the immigration department puts out. If you lie on those forms, they don't want you in the country. Um, so I'm expecting that this guy, they're going to say, well, he lied on the forms and this is end of story. You know, the judge is not going <laughs> to go back and say, well, you know, there are rules. And, and I think right now in Australia and in the U.S., it's rules are rules. And if you lie, uh, we don't want you in. Uh, I know that the lawyers uh, of the guy uh, put out the notion that the reason now the government doesn't want him in is that it would excite anti-vax sentiment. But I don't think the government has to even go there. It, they, it's maybe what they think. Maybe they think that, really. But they don't have to go there because the idiot lied on his forms. And if you lie on your forms, you're not allowed in. End of story. Uh... And yeah, I think if it were, not, we're talking about it right now because the guy is famous. But if the guy were not famous, and I'm sure it happens every day, people are kicked out of the country. And if you're not happy with that, 
The solution is not to make an exception for the famous guy. The solution is to change the rules inside the country to, to elect the people you want, and then they change the rules uh, about who is allowed in the country. And if uh, Australia wants to allow people to lie on their forms in their country, they can do it, but you change the rules. You don't create ad hoc exceptions for, for people that are famous. So, um, yeah, my prediction is that it's going to be kicked out. I hope it's going to be kicked out um, because it's a slap in the face of to every one of us who've moved countries and were answering truthfully. And sometimes there, there are hard questions on, on those forms that, you know, depending on where you go in the world, they can all ask you all kinds of questions. And sometimes there are hard questions and you look at that and think, you know, Am I going to answer truthfully or not? And I took the care of answering truthfully on my forms, and I know there's a lot of people who answer truthfully on their forms. Why should they be slapped in the face um, by giving this guy a special pass to allow him to go in even though he lied on his forms? The lying on the forms is what is doing him in. I don't care. It could be anti-vax, pro-vax. It doesn't matter. You lied on the form, you don't get in. End of story. So uh, I'm going to end my, th this episode here and uh, see you later.